Yo, yo, what's good to you too? It's a boy Lalo here with a brand new video. And as always, I got another fire one for y'all today, man. And as y'all can see by the title, folks, I'm telling you guys the story on when I got served the worst cart ever, bro. This shit was extremely bad. It was just disgusting. I don't even know how I took a hit of it, bro. But the worst part about it was what ended up happening to the cart, bro. It was just disgusting, bro. So make sure y'all sit him back, relax, and enjoy the story time. All right, folks. So this story took place back in the good old classic ninth grade, man. And if you're OGs to the channel, you already know ninth grade was them days. But if you're not an OG to the channel, let me explain real quick. Well, ninth grade was them days when, you know, I first found out what getting high was, you know. I really fell in love with it. I started going crazy. That was the year I turned into a pothead, bro. So that meant I always had Cardis on me. I always had butt on me. And I was just always going crazy. So yeah, man, it was one of those ninth grade days. And it was one of the days during the summertime. So you know what that meant? No school. And that meant... I was gonna get fucked up all day, you feel me? Or so I thought, because we had a little problem here, folks. See, your boy was a fucking fiend, bro. I would go through shit fast as hell, bro. So I remember this day, I really had a re-up because I think I only had like a G. The most I had was a dub, and my cart was about to finish, folks. You know, so that day came. I finished my shit fast as fuck. It was 1 p.m. and I was already empty, folks. So I was like, damn, cuz, I gotta hit the real, bro. So I hit the plug up just like always. I'm like, hey, bro, you around? And he was like, exactly. He ain't fucking replied, folks. I'm like, damn, cuz. So I hit him again. And he was like, he ain't fucking reply again, you feel me? So I'm like, damn, bro, what am I gonna do? Because I was real life feeling, bro. And like I said, this was in ninth grade. And I was a shorty, folks. I really didn't have that many plugs. Every time I re-upped fat was because I re-upped by the same person, you feel me? So yeah, man, I really didn't have any good plugs around, especially not around my crib. So I'm there just sad as fuck, like... Damn, bro, am I really gonna be dry as fuck all day? Because I didn't go to work this day neither. And sometimes when I went to work back then, I used to be a badass little kid, folk. So I used to get served at work. Yes, bro, I used to be going crazy, folk. But this day, I didn't go to work. And I was like, damn, cuz, because all the plugs be out there. But where I live, no, no, the plugs be out here. I only had one plug. But he was busy, folks. So I was all bumped out. Just right there. All satin and shit, you know. I'm about to cry. No, I'm just kidding. I won't about to cry, folks. But, you know, I'm just there like, damn, cuz. I'm really going to have to be sober the rest of this day. But then, boom. It hit me. I'm like, oh, no, nah, folks. I remembered. One of my homies had some dude snap. And he had gave it to me. And I'm like, hey, bro. Let me go see if he got some packs in. You feel me? So I remembered the first three letters of his username. And I went and I searched it up. And I realized I already had him added. I guess when my boy showed me him, I added him. You feel me? And yeah, bro. So I seen that he had a little menu up. So the menu was a classic menu. I seen he had two strains. I forgot the names of the strains. This was so long ago. I just remembered he had two strains. And also he had some bars on there. You feel me? me so i'm like damn so the weed sounds decent but what i'm really looking for is some carts right now so i slid up on folks story i'm like hey bro let me get a seven of that and also do you got any carts in bro and right away he opened it he hit me with the i for sure got you on the seven and i'll see if i can get you some carts right now and i'm like i bet good looks bro because i'd be very appreciated right now because i'm feeling like i'm a well i ain't say that you know what i'm saying but in my mind i'm like damn good appreciate it, my boy but i hit him i'm like good looks my boy let me know when you get that and boom he hits me like 30 minutes later he's like hey bro so i couldn't come up with carts but i ended up getting one cart and for him being a plug and only coming up with one cart should have been suspicious you feel me but you know i was very stupid at the time and i was like uh man he probably only does have one cart so yeah i agreed to this shit and i'm like hey bro come serve it if you can right now i dropped the low woo -woo -woo -woo. he said i bet i got you i'm on my way and i'm like i bet 
So I'm there happy as fuck, like, oh yeah, I'm not about to be dry no more. I'm finna go crazy, bro. And I was looking hype because it was a new plug, you feel me? So I was gonna try out a new plug's bud, which I never usually did, you know? So I was pretty hype. And also, I'm like, damn, I wonder what type of car he's gonna breed me. Because that shit is probably some fucking gas. So I'm there happy as fuck, just waiting for the plug. And he hits me with the, I'm about to be here. And I'm like, I bet, folks. So I get ready, you know. He hits me with the, I'm here. I'm like, bet. I go. I pull up. He's right there. I walk up to the whip. I'm like, what up, my boy? He's like, yo, what's up? He was cool people, you know. Or so I thought, folks. Man, his ass a goofy, folks. He bug himself for this one, folks. But, yeah, man. So I go up to him. I shake up with him. Woo, woo, woo. He gave me the things. I gave him the bread. And he just drove off, you know. So I walk back to my crib. I go inside. I'm happy as fuck, you feel me? I go into my room. And I start taking everything out the bag. First thing I notice is obviously the bud, man. And when I seen this bud, bro. I ain't gonna lie, folks. I was disappointed, folks. I'm like, no, bro. So, you know, the happiness of me waiting for some new weed just went to zero, folk. Because when I seen this shit, I'm like, hell no. Nah. This dude served me some shake, bro, with a little bit of nugs, bro. Hence why he didn't post that shit on his story, you know. Because if he would have posted that shit on his story, nobody would have copped, you feel me. But, yeah, bro, this dude has served me some fucking shake with a little bit of nugs, bro. I'm like, dude, this shit bog is full. And I tried to smell it. That shit ain't even smell like nothing, folk. I'm like, bro, that shit bog is full. Then, boom, I'm like, oh, shit, I sure did get a cart. Let me go ahead and check that cart out. And, boom. So, when I got the cart, uh, do you guys remember the exotic carts back in the days? Do y'all remember those little baggies that they used to come in? That's exactly what this shit came in, bro. And the first thing I seen on it was like a knockoff Wiz Khalifa in the front, bro. Just smoking a joint. It was called like West Coast some shit. It wasn't called West Coast Cure, though, because I know West Coast Cure. Shouts out to them. But... Bro, it just looked so, like, knockoff, so bad, bro. It just reminded me of, like, a straight Mario Kart, bro. Literally, the graphic was fading. The Wiz Khalifa was fading, bro. So, I'm like, oh, hell no. What type of fake-ass card is this? But y'all want to know something crazy, bro? My fiend ass still went ahead and smacked that motherfucker, bro. Yes, bro. So, I still do the bubble test because it's still a pretty good test to see if your shit is cut. You know what I'm saying? But just because a cart passes the bubble test doesn't mean it's 100% real, bro. Because I remember back in the day, bro, everybody used to base the cards off of a bubble test. Like, no, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, folks? And that's what my stupid ass did, bro. Because I went ahead, I took out the cart, and it was one of those gold eye crusher carts, the classic ones. The ones they use for the exotic ones, bro. I know a bunch of y'all know exactly which ones I'm talking about. Well, I take that shit out, right? And when I look at the wax, right? Tell me why this wax looked beautiful, bro. This shit looked nice, gold, clear. I did the bubble test. Everything just matched out, bro. I was happy as fuck because it genuinely looked good, bro. So I'm like, yeah, I'm hype as fuck, bro. I get the battery, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I had one of those little sticks, 10 or $15 batteries. I know y'all know, you feel me? So I went ahead, I screwed it on there. I'm like, damn, fuck. I admired it for like 10 seconds before I hit it because I was a real pothead, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to admire. Let me shut up, bro. All right, bet. So you already know. I go in for blinkers first hit 10, even when I was a shorty folk. That's just how I go. When my stupid ass, you know, I've always been pothead like that. So when you go for blinkers, you burn a lot of wax. It uses a lot more heat, you feel me? Because it's obviously a blinker, and it's going to be on for more. So I go ahead. I went for the blinker, right? And what I noticed immediately was there was a sound coming out of this cart that no cart has ever made ever, bro. It sounded like some sizzling, bro. Like if they were cooking some shit in there. I'm like, what the fuck? So even though I heard that shit with my stupid ass, I still inhaled. And when I inhaled, bro, I tasted burnt. Like this shit tasted straight burn bro this shit was disgusting bro when i let it all out bro like after the hit bro it was so bad like my cough almost turned into a throw up because bro that taste was so 
nasty. It tasted like burnt sweet shit. Whole time, he probably put honey in that bitch. That shit was bad as fuck, bro. I'm there almost about to throw up and shit. And I'm there. I'm like, damn, bro. This shit a hitter. Or so I thought. Because then I realized, I'm like, wait. This bitch ain't no hitter. I ain't even fucking high. And that shit is nasty. That tasted bad, bro. But my finesse. You know what I thought? I was like, bro, it's probably because I took a blinker. I need to chill, take smaller hits, bro. I probably overburned the wax or something. Bro, I was so stupid, fool. I ain't gonna lie with y'all, fool. So you know what I did? I went ahead and took another hit, bro. And boom, when I took the next hit, that's all I needed to know this time, for real, for real, bro. Because when I took the next hit, bro, the same shit happened. I go ahead, I click the button, all I hear is... I hit that bitch, I inhale it, that shit tastes like ass, bro, like, ugh, like, man, that shit was disgusting, bro, so I'm like, hell no, nah, bro, I hurried up, I unscrewed it from the battery, I put it back in this little baggie, I sealed that bitch up, and I threw it in the garbage, and yeah, that's crazy, for me to throw a cart in the garbage, that is crazy, bro, but when I tell you guys, I got this foul fucking taste from me, it tasted like dirt, ass just it was disgusting bro like it was bad i honestly think he probably put some honey and he bogus bro he could have probably he could at least put some good sweet honey not that nasty ass like oh come on bro dumb he bogus as hell though i ain't gonna lie for so yeah bro i'm just there all mad as fuck bro because first off i got this nasty ass cart right next to me and second off this weed isn't helping bro so i'm there like man i'm never ever ever buying from no other plugs i'm always wait for my plugs and that's that i am never ever trusting nobody bro that shit real life gave me fucking trust issues bro so what i ended up doing with the bud was i remember I had to smoke a little bit of it, bro, because I was a fiend, bro. But thankfully, I was able to get rid of some, if you know, you know. And yeah, man, I got a little bit of money out of it. I wasn't too sad at the end. I was bullying for, I'm like, fuck it. It is what it is, you feel me? So yeah, man, like three, four days goes by. And I remember I'm over here cleaning my room, just how I always do. And yeah, man, I'm over here cleaning my room, you know what I'm saying? Throwing shit in the garbage. And I noticed my garbage is starting to get full. And I'm like, hey, bro, I remember I threw a card in here a couple of days ago. Let me go ahead and check it out. Let me see if the wax still looks the same. I don't know why that thought came through my head. I don't know why I wanted to check that wax out because that shit was nasty as fuck. In my mind, I kind of was expecting something to be there. And sure there was, bro. So, boom. Bent down. I look for the card a little. I finally got it. You know what I'm saying? So, I boom. I got it. I opened the little bag. I pulled the card out. Tell me why this cart evaporated. Yes, bro. All the liquid that was in there, bro. This was damn near a full. It was a full cart. Because I only smacked that shit twice, bro. There was a full cart. And four days later, this cart was evaporated, bro. That shit was disgusting. And at the bottom, there was like little specks of like wax or some shit i don't even know how to explain it there was just like little like blodges of wax separated down there like there was wax but it wasn't all together it was separated and that shit was just nasty bro like it looked so fucking nasty bro and yeah like i said all that shit evaporated so who knows what the fuck that dude put in that shit bro but i'm just thankful i didn't fully smoke that shit bro because at them times my fiend ass would have probably did it i don't know why i didn't oh no i do know because that shit was disgusting bro Thank God I didn't, bro, because, oh, hell no, nah, bro. That shit really evaporated, bro, in, like, three to four days. Like, put that in the comments down below. Have y'all ever had a fucking cart do that to y'all? No, like, what the fuck? I don't even think that's possible, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck he put in that shit. And I don't even think Honey can do that shit. Like, what the fuck did he put in? I don't fucking know. Mystery or I don't fucking know, bro. But, yeah, man, point was, I learned my lesson. I'm like, I'm never, ever buying from people that don't post what they got for sale on their story bro because most likely that shit is probably bogus that's why they're not fucking posting you know what i'm saying and also i learned another valuable lesson 
Always go to pugs that you know got that good shit, bro. You don't want to be taking gambles with this shit, bro. Not drugs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially not cards, bro. Because that shit was disgusting. Now, imagine if I smoked that whole cart and I contacted some type of sickness. I could have, bro. That shit was disgusting, man. But, yeah. Lesson in this story time is buy from people you trust. Don't be getting shit from randoms, especially when it comes to fucking drugs, and especially more when it comes to shit like cards, bro, because you already know all those stories y'all have heard about the cards, you know, y'all gotta be safe out here, bro, if anything, y'all spend a little bit more bread and go get the dispensary cards, bro, that's my advice, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy the story time, I appreciate it so much, y'all stay safe, y'all stay smooth, I'll catch on the next one. Peace.